Folks, it seems like I started a little bit of a fuss in my initial announcement of the release of the X-Racer F303 V3 when I said, sorry, Spectrum users. Um, yeah, yeah. What I meant but was that the Spectrum header has been removed. The Spectrum header used to be right here. There were pads. And if you wanted to install a little plug for a Spectrum connector, whatever the name of it, I don't know what it is, you could theoretically uh, solder on a, 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 a header here a little receptacle to plug in the plug that comes on a Spectrum satellite. And of course, nobody did that, right? Who did that? Who soldered that thing on? You just direct solder to the pads, right? Okay, so fine. You just cut cut the wires and solder them on. And so when FPV model needed to make room for the additional through holes, like the buzzer holes and so on, they took that header off. And all indications, and I've, I've asked, there has been no sort of official announcement, but I've asked and all indications are that that's not coming back. So it's it's just, I don't think it is. Um, so I said, oh, sorry, Spectrum users, you're out of luck. But I didn't mean to suggest that you could not use a Spectrum satellite with this board. And I may have gotten a little carried away and, and I may even have said, I don't know, I haven't gone back and listened to the video. But here's the real deal. You absolutely can use a Spectrum satellite with this board if you want to. Spectrum is a serial protocol. It's no different from SBUS or IBUS or whatever. And even though this port right here is labeled SBUS, there's nothing magic about it. It just goes to one of the UARTs, right? It just links the signal wire to one of the UARTs and has a five volt and a nice convenient place for that to go. And it's just making your life easy. But you could just as easily hook this directly up to the UART Okay, so if, if you want to hook a Spectrum satellite up, you absolutely can hook the Spectrum satellite up to this SBUS connector and configure the UART accordingly. Everything will work fine. Uh, SBUS does not use the same kind of inversion, telemetry, or not telemetry, serial inversion as uh, Spectrum, but that's okay because the F3 chip used here has software configurable inversion. When you set the serial protocol to uh, Spectrum, or whatever you set it to for Spectrum, everything will work fine, and people have done this. The only thing is that this is gonna output five volts, and five volts will fry a Spectrum satellite. Now, one way to deal with that is I linked on my Facebook page, The Drone Racing Engineer, to a, a satellite available from Banggood that actually can take five volts. So you could just plug it right in here, and you're good to go. Very nice, it's only about 10 bucks, I think, and so that's one option. The other thing you can do is, you can still get 3.3 volts right here from this pad labeled 3.3 volts. So what you would need to do is you would need to wire up signal here, and you could certainly wire ground here, and then you would get power from 3.3 volts here. Now that's a little clunky. You would need to run a wire, and you would need to... That's a little bit of a small pad to solder to, and there are many reasons why you might not like that. But if you want to run a Spectrum satellite on this board, you absolutely can do it. And I'm sorry if I misspoke or said the wrong thing or got carried away and went overboard in my initial announcement and gave you the impression that it was impossible to do. It's absolutely possible to run a Spectrum satellite on this board, and that's how you do it. 3.3 volts from here, and signal goes here, or signal goes anywhere you like, any UART you want. It's not, a, it's not rocket science. It's not nothing weird going on there. There you go. Happy flying, whether you use FreeSky or Spectrum or, heck, even if you use Futaba. But not you, Grobner Peeper. Not you. The heck with you. No. <laughs> Happy flying.